another edition of KLHS. I'm Drew Higgins. And I'm Marcella Reeder. We hope everyone is having a great Monday. Let's get started with a sneak peek from Brett Schweitzer for this week's weather. Well guys, it's going to be pretty windy today, but I'll get more on that later in the broadcast. Back to the front desk. Thanks Brett. We will also have Taylor at the athletic desk to give you an inside scoop on Blue Jay Athletics. All that and so much more coming up next. This is KLHS. trouble picking which college suits you best? Stressed about what career you want to have? Well look no further than our very own counseling department. The Liberty High School Counseling Department will be hosting their annual college and career planning night on Tuesday, September 15th from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. This event is for parents and students who gain information on what lies beyond high school. The evening will allow for many different topics including financial aid for college, finding the best college fit, family connections, career panel of top paying professionals, and the A-plus program. Staying on the topic of college, have you ever heard of QuestBridge? This program is designed to connect bright, motivated, low-income students with top educational professional, scholarship, and life opportunities. Please tell your counselor today if you plan to apply. QuestBridge applications are due soon, so please turn your applications by September 28th. Students, don't miss the chance to see colleges and universities coming to visit LHS throughout the year. Not only can you visit the colleges during lunch, there is also the option of stopping by the counseling office to receive a pass to attend this visit. September visits are listed on the screen or go to the website to see the full calendar. Students are asked to follow a specific timeline for requesting recommendation letters from their counselor or teacher. The advance notice will allow time for a quality letter to be produced. This timeline is located at the LHS counseling website and posted throughout the building. And don't forget, the FSA will meet every Tuesday in room 911. Anyone is welcome to join. Sophomores and juniors are invited to register for the PSAT. Registration is due by September 30th, and the exam is offered on October 14th at LHS. Registration is available on the front page of the LHS website. The homecoming dance will be, on, will be held on Saturday, September 26th at 8 p.m. in the Coakley Fieldhouse. Each student is allowed to bring one guest to the dance. Students who wish to bring guests who do not attend Liberty High School must complete a guest registration form. These forms are available now in the counseling office and must be returned by Monday, September 21st. Students will not be allowed to buy tickets for non-LHS guests until the form is submitted and approved. Student dance tickets will go on sale at lunch on Monday the 21st. Seniors, homecoming king and queen voting is now open. Check your email for the link to submit your ballot to narrow down the candidate pool to the top 10. Voting will be open through Liberty Hour on Tuesday the 15th. The top 10 candidates will be announced at the end of the day on Tuesday. Good luck to all the candidates. Model UN Nation begins meeting Monday, September 14th in room 905. Please join if you are interested in joining this awesome team. The grand opening of the nest is tomorrow, September 15th. Make sure to come by and, buy and check out the full new menu in the brand new location in the library. The nest has new hours and will be open before school through third hour. Expect a feature story coming later this week on all the details and the behind the scenes of the grand opening. Also, Social Club will be starting up soon. This is a great way for students to participate in the school and a great way for students to interact with each other. All, and we have the promotional video brought to you by the Social Club. Take it over to Brett with the latest update in weather. 
Well, you might have noticed the weather today is pretty windy. It's going to be windy all week. But today's high is going to be 83 and the low is 66. Tomorrow the high is going to be 86 and the low is 66. You might want to bring your raincoat on Friday for the game because there's an 80% chance of rain. That's all I got for you guys today. Back to the front desk. Thanks, Brett. Taylor Barfordy now stands by with the latest in sports. Taylor? What's up, Jays? Tonight, the Lady Jays volleyball team will be playing at home against Staley. Let's hope for a big win tonight. Over the weekend, girls tennis placed fourth in the Liberty Invitational. Awesome job, ladies. They'll play tonight at home against Oak Park. Good luck. Softball plays at home tonight against Truman. Hopefully, a big win will follow. Men's soccer plays tonight at home against Ruskin. Good luck, guys. Last Friday, the varsity football boys played away at Park Hill. Throughout most of the game, the stores stayed fairly close. Unfortunately, Park Hill pulled away towards the end. The Jays lost the game 20 to 10. They'll be back in action Friday night here at LHS, hoping for a win at home. Also, the Kansas City Chiefs had a big win over the Houston Texans on Sunday, 27 to 20. They'll play again on Thursday at Arrowhead against the Broncos. Make sure to wear red on Thursday to support KC. The Royals lost to the Orioles last night, 8 to 2. They'll be back tonight against the Indians, hoping for a win. That's all I have for today, and back to the front desk. Thanks, Taylor. Well, that's all for today. For Marcella Reader, Taylor Barfreddy, Brett Schweitzer, and all of our production crew, I'm Drew Higgins. Have a great day, Jays.